Candidates are expected to have a thorough understanding of the syllabus details outlined in the accompanying figure. Electrical hazards from main electricity. Mains electricity is potentially lethal because it can carry high voltages and currents. Even voltages as low as 50 volts can pose a serious hazard to individuals, especially if the current is high enough. Common hazards include Damaged insulation If someone touches an exposed piece of wire, they could be subjected to a lethal shock. Overheating of cables Passing too much current through too small a wire, or leaving a long length of wire tightly coiled, can lead to the wire overheating. This could cause a fire or melt the insulations, exposing live wires. Damp conditions If moisture comes into contact with live wires, the moisture could conduct electricity, either causing a short circuit within a device, which could cause a fire, or posing an electrocution risk. Excess current from overloading of plugs, extension leads, single and multiple sockets when using a main supply. If plugs or sockets become overloaded due to plugging in too many components the heat created can cause fires. Main circuits. Mains electricity is the electricity generated by power stations and transported around the country through the national grid. Mains electricity is an alternating current supply. In the UK, the domestic electricity supply has a frequency of 50 Hz and a potential difference of about 230 volts. A frequency of 50 Hz means the direction of the current changes back and forth 50 times every second. Mains electricity, being an alternating current, does not have positive and negative sides to the power source. Live wire is brown insulated and carries the current. The voltage of this goes alternating negative and positive, making the current flow backwards and forwards through the circuit. Neutral wire is blue insulated and completes the circuit. It is kept at zero voltage by the electricity supply company. Switch. This is connected in the live wire for safety. It would work equally well in the neutral, but then wire in the cable would still be live with the switch OFF. This would be dangerous if, for example, the cable was accidentally cut. Fuse. This is a thin piece of wire which overheats and melts if the current is too high. It is connected in the live wire for safety. If too much current flows through the circuit, the fuse will blow and break the circuit, preventing the cable from overheating and catching fire. Earth wire. The earth wire is a safety wire that connects the metal body of an appliance to earth. This prevents the appliance from becoming live if the live wire comes loose and touches the metal body. A current immediately flows to earth and blows the fuse. This means that the appliance is then safe to touch. If the appliance has no earth wire and the live wire comes loose, a current could flow through the user, causing an electric shock. Double insulation. Some appliances, radios of example, do not have an earth wire. This is because their outer case is made of plastic rather than metal. The plastic acts as an extra layer of insulation around the wires, which prevents any current from flowing to the user even if the live wire comes loose inside the appliance. 3-pin plugs. In the UK, 3-pin plugs are used to connect appliances to the mains. The 3 pins are for the live wire, the neutral wire, and the earth wire. When wiring a plug, check the following. The wires are connected to the correct terminals, using the color code on the left. The cable is held firmly by the grip. The correct fuse is fitted. Fuse valves. The plug is usually fitted with either a 3 amperes, 5 amperes or 13 amperes fuse. The value tells you the current needed to blow the fuse. It must be greater than the normal current through the appliance, but as close to it as possible, so that the fuse will blow as soon as the current gets too high. If you know the power of an appliance, 
You can use the equation of P equals V, I, to work out whether a 3 amperes, 5 amperes, or 13 amperes fuse is needed. For example, kettle 2300 watts, 230 volts. Current equals power over voltage equals 2300 over 230 is equal to 10 amperes. So, a 13 amperes fuse is needed. TV, 115 watts, 230 volts. Current equals power over voltage equals 115 over 230 is equal to 0.5 amperes. So, a 3 amperes fuse is needed. The TV would still work with a 13 amperes fuse. But if a fault developed, its circuits might overheat and catch fire without the fuse blowing. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe, share, like and leave a positive comment. Your support will encourage me to create more content. Thank you.